I have this um, Weissos PCB. It's a uh, Philips LG yeah, G screen uh, type uh, PDP 42X3. And the number on the Weissos board is 6871Q053B. And the problem with it is, is this IPM module beneath this black heatsink. It goes short circuit. You will notice because uh, when you find this fuse here, there's two fuses. The one on the left, if I can get into the shot, this one here. It's a four amp fuse, and uh, it will go up on circuit when this module goes. Uh, short circuit. And the problem with removing this is uh, as soon as you heat up uh, the pins with a traditional solder iron and try and get the solder out, it, 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 the solder on the, um, on the upper end of the board, because it's double sided print, doesn't desolder. The way I normally do it is I use uh, a heater from below and I heat the heat sink up to about 100 degrees. And I would use a, I would strap on a, a thermocouple, uh, just like this, tape it on to the, the heat sink just to get a rough idea of the temperature. When it's up to about 100 degrees, then I would use my uh, um, solder line pump, uh, it's got a vacuum pump in it. It would suck the solder up through a little hole in the nozzle. It is a very difficult uh, repair for people with uh, just normal solder irons. Um, I've tried various methods. I've even used two solder irons before I had the upper uh, the the, uh, the under heater. Um, before I had that, that's what I used. Uh, but now I just because it makes life easier, I just use the under heater. Uh, so I'm going to just start unsoldering it. Okay, I'm going to. Remove this uh, IPN module off this Philips uh, um, LG uh, Weissos board, which is mounted underneath this heatsink. Problem with this is try to remove the solder. Uh, because it's double sided print, the solder is on both sides of the print, which is very difficult to remove with this heatsink. It will uh, all the other side sometimes doesn't melt, so it, 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 it is a problem. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to bring this board up to uh, um, bring the temperature up of this board a bit. Um, I won't be using uh, the upper heater as you would for removing BGA. So I'll just keep an eye on the temperature and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, we'll see in a minute. Okay, we're in the preheat stage. Uh, as you can see, we're running at 28 degrees. I'll try it at 100 degrees and uh, see what it on solder at 100 degrees. Okay, what I've set up uh, is a um, temperature sensor sensor on the actual uh, heat sink. Um, because it's the heat sink I want to heat up more so than the PCB. Uh, as you can see, the, the top uh, board temperature is 36 degrees and the uh, Heat sink that's been heated from below is at uh, 70 degrees and climbing. Um, when that gets to 100 degrees on the on the, um, on the uh, heat sink, I will uh, uh, try and uh, remove the solder. Okay, we're at 100 degrees on the button uh, on the heat sink, so I'm going to give it a try now.
so hold on one time, but I can't do this song when that moves me again. Got to reposition the board. Okay. I got all the pins unsoldered, um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to prise it up uh, with a screwdriver. And what I have to do is watch the print because I don't know the far side whether it's uh, been um, desoldered correctly. I can't see the far side, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently do it and watch the uh, see if it come out easy. If it comes out easy, we go. stiff uh, felt like it was gripping a bit 
And let's just zoom in on our print. Okay, print is looking pretty good. Yes. Okay, and let's have a look at our module. Now, you'll see from our module. As you can see from the module, there is top of this chip has been blown off. It will require this IPM module to be replaced. Um, the are, there, there is kits available for this uh, uh, YSUS board. You will find them if you if you search under the uh, Weissus uh, PCB number six uh, eight seven one Q zero five three B. You will find them. Now this is on this PCB with a heatsink or with heatsink compound. Okay, and that's all it is. Just a big chip. Now, what I would do then is I would get a new one, I would clean up this heatsink compound and I'll put some fresh heat heatsink uh, heat compound on the uh, PCB. This repair is uh, very difficult, uh, so for people without the tools, I would recommend sending it into uh, a specialised service centre that would carry out this type of repair. There's not actually many um, repair shops that uh, are capable of doing this repair. Uh, very difficult. You will damage the print on the upper side because you can't get at it, or you'll just tear the. Um, they're multi-layer prints. Um, I'm not too sure how how many layers on it. I don't have that information. Um, but uh, if you damaged inside the uh, the eyelet, where it might be connected to another piece of print, you're going to have problems. Uh, and it's going to cost you an awful lot more money. You probably have to get a whole new PCB, which will cost a lot more than just uh, replacing the IPM board or the IPM module. Um, so be careful. If you can't, if you don't think you can do it, you have got the equipment. Leave it to the to, to, to the workshops that specialised in this type of repair. There's a there's a company in the UK. That's the only place I know in Europe um, that. Uh, carry out these repair on behalf of other people. Um, I, I've dealt with them before during my time when I was uh, working in London. Uh, uh, I'm, they're very good, no problem.